In today's video, guys, I'm going to be telling you the absolute best way to make money this week in GTA 5 Online. In about an hour and 40 minutes to about two hours, you guys can walk away with over $2 million in your bank account, maybe even close to $2.5 million. I hope you enjoy the video, and let's get into it. The very first thing you want to do is make your way over to your bunker. As you guys know, it is double money for bunker cell missions, so you guys can make an absolute killing. All you want to do is either go and steal supplies or buy supplies. If you have an upgraded bunker, buy supplies. If you don't have an upgraded bunker, steal supplies. Do either of those and get your supplies bar completely full. As you guys can see, I already have some stock, so I'm not going to do that during this video. But if I did not have any stock, I would go and buy some supplies. If you guys have any stock level in your bunker, before you get into any of this, go and sell it right away. As fast as you can, just go and sell it. Even if it's just a tiny bit, just go and get rid of it and make a little bit of money off of that. Once you do that, then you guys can go resupply in your bunker and get into this next step. So your supplies right now are being created inside your bunker to make some stock. So it's gonna take you about an hour and 40 minutes to so about two hours for that stock to be generated. Well, what in GTA 5 takes about an hour and 30 minutes to do? The Cow Perico heist. You only need to do five mandatory setups and then you guys can actually start up the entire heist and go make some money. Now off this heist, if you guys were to do it solo, you can make right around 1.3 to 1.7 million dollars guaranteed if you guys do it solo so you can easily walk away with a bunch of money so i would highly suggest you guys go and do this by the time you're done doing all of the setups and by the time you're done doing all of the actual finale you'll go back into free mode and your bunker will actually be completely empty of supplies and you'll have a bunch of stock that you could sell and since it's double money for bunker sell missions when you guys go and actually sell everything from your bunker you'll get double the amount of money and I do believe that it gives you double for the high demand as well, depending on CEOs and how many MC presidents are in your lobby. I'm not 100% sure, but when I sold it, I did get a pretty hefty bonus at the end. And I actually made close to about $650,000 for selling about 29 out of 100 stock in my bunker, which is crazy. So you guys can make a ton of money from that. So let's say you made 1.5 million from the Kyle Perico heist in an hour and a half. Then you go and sell your bunker stock for like 650K. You guys walk away with $2.15 million in your bank account in about an hour and a half to two hours, which is pretty great. Most of you guys probably just grind out the Kyle Perico heist and then you guys make a decent amount of money from that solo. But why not add the bunker into this now and get a bunch of money added on top of that? So you go and do the Cal Perico heist, you get $1.5 million, for instance. Then you go back to your bunker, and after the supplies run out, you'll most likely have about 20% of your bunker filled up. Normally, that would give you about $210,000, but since it's double money, you'll get right around $420,000, which is pretty great. And then if you go and sell that, you're only going to be using one vehicle, so you could do it really, really quickly. And then you guys will also get the high demand bonus, which will net you a bunch of extra money in the end. If you have some extra MC presidents or CEOs in the lobby, you'll get a bunch of extra money off of them. So then you guys can actually end up walking away with close to about $500,000 from that one bunker sale. So then in the end, you can make about $2 million in about an hour and a half to about two hours right around that time. So that is a pretty great amount of money. You're making $1 million per hour in GTA 5. And then of course you just restart it over again. Just go and resupply in your bunker, go restart the Cal Perico heist, do it again. You might even make more money if you guys get a better primary target. And of course, when you're doing that heist, you only want to steal cocaine. That will net you the most amount of money in the end. So if you guys can do it, go and steal cocaine, steal your primary target. And if you find some paintings, obviously grab those as well. And then you guys can just make a ton of money this week. Some people say it's not the best week, but I think it's an amazing week to make money because the bunker is just a way to make passive income. And the best part is your supplies will still be generating, making stock while you're doing the Kyle Perico heist. As long as you're playing GTA Online, your bunker will still be working. So no matter what, you're just going to make a ton of money. And in the end, you'll walk away with $2 million in about two hours which is great. So I would highly suggest you guys follow these steps and make millions of dollars this week. If you guys do that once a day, you guys can walk away at the end of the week with $14 million. And that is only if you do it one time every day for the next seven days. So imagine you guys actually like to grind in this game and you do this like three or four times a day, let's say five days a week, you guys could be walking away with well over like 30 million, maybe even close to $50 million, depending on how much you guys actually play the game this week. It's not really that hard. The only issue is you would have to spend a lot of time playing this game, but 
Even if you just wanted a quick buck, you needed a little bit of money, spend two hours doing this, you guys get two million bucks. It's pretty great. And even if your bunker isn't upgraded, you'll still make a really good amount of money from it. Obviously not as much if your bunker was upgraded, and I would not suggest upgrading it just because of this, but then again, renovations and all that kind of stuff are a lot cheaper right now. I'm not 100% sure if bunker upgrades are on sale or not. If they are, then hands down, upgrade your bunker so you guys can make a little bit more money, but that's only if you guys are actually going to grind this out and stick through it the entire week so then you guys can actually make your money back. But I would highly suggest you guys try this out if you haven't been doing it already. It's an amazing way to make money and hands down the best way to make money this week and so far the best way to make money in 2021 from any kind of event week. So it's actually pretty great. Anyways, that's going to wrap up the video for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one.